Hello and welcome to having and being your godlike talents, abilities, and capacities. What if every one of you from some lifetime, some galaxy, some planet, from an awareness far, far away, have these talents, abilities, capacities that no one else on this planet actually has? What if all of you have this unique awareness from the vibrations in which was your origin, (laughs) as if an infinite being has an origin? Doesn't that kind of just make your brain go, what is really going on here? So you guys have all been and done all kinds of things in so many lifetimes. So what if all of that information actually gifts you this totally unique way of being in the world. This completely different way to unlock reality. Maybe it's that you're, you have this embodiment of being the question that literally shifts every molecule on this whole planet. What if you know something about the creation even of reality? What if you were actually here when reality was created? What if you actually participated in the creation of it? Well, if you did that, did you sort of know, hmm, uh, we're locking people up. How about I be the secret agent that has all the keys to consciousness so that when the time is right, we can actually unlock the entire world? Would you be willing to first open up your awareness and your knowing to something that is beyond this time right now? Yeah? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, if you've been and done everything... What else is possible, right? What have you known from some other galaxy? That if you knew it in this lifetime, would change the entire world just by your awareness of you. Just by your knowing that this actually exists. Do you remember in the sixth sense or... The fifth element, (laughs) close. The fifth element, when the woman gets up and she sings for the world and she's that, the blue lady, and her vibration basically goes into everyone's universes and completely shifts everything for everyone in ways that nobody can even explain. So what if you as a being have an infinite amount of that types of talents and abilities in every direction Now, how many people on this planet have been willing to acknowledge it or see it about you? Not very many. So how much of you have you cut off your awareness to thinking it can exist here? Whew. Everything that that brings up, all uh, everywhere you've cut off your awareness to all your gifts, all your talents and abilities and all your capacities from all your other lifetimes, every other planet and galaxy you've ever been on, (laughs) <laughs> Would you be willing to destroy and create everything that does allow you to be aware of it this lifetime? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Because what if all of those awarenesses and talents and abilities could be used in absolutely every area? Okay. Now part of it is moving out of being the servant of this reality, moving into that godlike presence, that godlike awareness of you, so that you can literally have a life that resonates with you that actually works for you, right? And as you move out of reality into this being called you, that's where the magic truly begins. What if you are actually a walking, talking miracle? What if just by your mere awareness of everything you've been and done and all of your talents and abilities, you shift everything for this entire planet? Everything. So everything you've been unwilling to perceive, know, be, and receive about how you are changing the world, would you be willing to destroy and crail that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And the funny part <clears throat> about changing the world is it's more about you having all of you. When you have all of you, you invite the rest of the world to all of them. So it's not you're, like you're doing a service and you have this job for all of humanity to change the world. It's more like, wow, I'm going on the adventure of finding out how amazing and brilliant and talented and fabulous I am. And it just so happens that everybody comes with you. Because they all get around you and vibrationally, whatever you're willing to be and receive shifts for them. 
So what if by opening up to these capacities for you, you could shift the entire world just by being? Okay, how light does that feel? How effortless does that feel? So all the talents, abilities, and capacities from some planet, from some lifetime, from some other galaxy, known and unknown. Would you be willing to pull those into existence this lifetime just for the joy and fun of the adventure of, wow, I wonder what else is possible? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. (laughs) how does it get any better than this my friends now as you start moving into this embodiment of the being that you are what's interesting is what if you guys are all aliens have you guys kind of noticed that you don't exactly fit in or don't at all fit in (laughs) So what if all of you are completely unique unto yourselves? And when I look out into all of your universes, I see all of these different beings from all over the world that all have these different vibrations, these different capacities, these different ways of being in the world that are absolutely magical and magnificent beyond our wildest imagination. Now, how do you get to actually allow yourself to be this and use this for the generation and creation of a phenomenal life? What's weird is the cognitive mind and all the conclusion judgment world, what if that's too heavy of a world for all of this to exist in? (laughs) So all the judgments and conclusions that you've locked into your body and into your system that keep you from being this lightness of being that you are that creates so much magical and miracle in the world. Would you be willing to destroy and create everything that doesn't allow that to show up? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what have you known from some other galaxy in some other lifetime? That if you knew it this lifetime would allow you to have an absolute phenomenal life with total ease. Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And what can you be and receive that's true for you that's actually so far beyond reality? Now tap, ask yourself that question right now. What can I be and receive that's true for me that's beyond this reality? Whoa, did you feel that? Okay, so would you be willing to bring that into being? So kind of go grab all that awareness and vibration and then pull it in through your body. Even if you quote unquote don't know what it is. When really... Do you not know what it is, or do you not have a cognitive, it's not a cognitive answer, right? It's more like a vibration and awareness that you can't wrap your mind around. Does that make sense? So all the vibration and awareness that you haven't been able to wrap your mind around, so you thought it didn't exist here, and it didn't exist? (laughs) Would you be willing to destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what can you be and receive that's true for you that's beyond this? Now, how about right now you kind of ask, all right, so let's tap into some really other like wild galaxies, wild planets, wild. Okay, your cognitive mind can't get there. It's vibrational. (laughs) Reality is much too small of a box to put any of this information into. So would you be willing to kind of like just take the box of your reality and maybe like create a safe underneath your seat or something 
stick the open up the safe put the box of your reality in the safe and just spin it just be like can you hold on for a minute because we're going to go on a different wild ride we're going to go, want to go on this ride of finding out just how talented, amazing, and phenomenal that we are that this reality can't even acknowledge. They don't even think it actually exists. Okay, friends. There you go. It's kind of like boarding your spaceships energetically. <laughs> so what can you be and receive that is true for you from some other galaxy? That if you allowed yourself to embody it fully, would shift you into the being that is so far beyond reality and such a magical expression, such a miraculous adventure such a vibration to the receive that it could never fit into your cognitive mind or into reality. Ooh, everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive all that, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. (laughs) So what talents, abilities, and capacities have you had from other lifetimes that this quote-unquote reality not receive? Okay, so are there some planets where you could basically choose to fly just because you chose it? And do you remember being a little kid lying in your bed, sort of going, I know that this exists, And then why isn't it showing up here? Like somehow I know I should be able to fly and you have dreams of flying and you go, oh yeah, all you do is X, Y, and Z. And then you wake up for your dream and you go, how come I can't do that now? What's going on here? So what if that was actually a remembrance, not a dream? What if that was actually an awareness of what could be possible for you on this planet not a dream why is this planet the exception what if it didn't have to be (laughs) everything that brings up times of God's land everywhere you've been indoctrinated into the energetics of this planet which is keeping you from being knowing perceiving and receiving all of that would you be willing to destroy and create it all right wrong good bad all nine pod pox shorts boys and beyonds That shifted some energy. Wow. How cool is that? So how many of you also have known that with the being that you be, you could shift any vibration? Has there been lifetimes where you basically just turned your awareness towards something and... So anything that was going on... Just by your mere awareness, you could shift anything and everything. So how many of you guys have been wondering why stuff hasn't shifted here if you were being this being that was here to shift it and it didn't shift? What if that's because the people around you weren't actually choosing it? It doesn't make any sense to you because you go, why would you hold on to the wrongness of you? Why would you hold on to judgment? Why would you hold on to the hatred and the anger and the upset and the violence? It doesn't make any sense. I should be able to look at all of humanity and have it completely shift myself (laughs) as oneness. How many of you guys actually know that that's what should be possible? Have you ever been those space Avengers where your job was just to go where no man or no alien had ever gone before, step foot on the planet, be total in awareness of all their civilization, and basically shift the whole matrix? Everything you've been unwilling to perceive, know, be, and receive, and have as a vibration about that, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. (laughs) 
And the thing is, what you'd end up feeling like is um, you're not satisfied or nothing's ever enough or you know something else is possible but you can't attain it, right? Does that resound as a feeling that you guys have most of the time? <laughs> Hold on, something else should be possible. Why do I, ugh, what's this and this and this energy and ugh. Except in the coming, you know, onto this planet, what if you were programmed with all kinds of stuff that has kept you basically locked into this reality vibrationally? So would you guys be willing to let go of all your oaths, vows, commitments, communities, fealties to upholding this reality? And all, everything they said they'd do to you if you didn't? Revoke or can't, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. How many of you guys have been trying to not be found? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. How many of you guys have been trying to fit in so they didn't find you and kill you? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. <laughs> And the thing is, if, <laughs> if you're kind of like programmed on the way here, it's, uh, doesn't it make sense it's a bit tough to kind of get out of the program? Because it wasn't even like <laughs> consciously you went, I'm going to choose this. What if on the way here you got put in these thousand year sleep cycles and basically just got programmed to fit in and to be part of the limitation and the limited reality? So everything that that is, known and unknown, Everything that's going on in your system right now, that was just something that was put there. What if it was time to literally stand up for you as a being? What if it was time to come out of that box and look at that reality and go, thank you so much. You know what? You've never felt like me. I'm now willing to know that there is something different about me. That I embody a complete different energy, space, consciousness, and awareness and this reality has never felt like home. So would you allow yourself to dissolve all the parts of reality that you've been using to hold you captive into being a servant of this reality instead of that godlike presence, that infinite being, that total difference that you as a being truly be? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. The tough part, my friends, too, is what I watch occur in classes and all around the world is these infinite beings that are talented, beyond talented, to the freaking nines, right? where you guys are working through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, you actually have other bodies on other planets and other lifetimes through other, you know, quantum realities, and you guys are like such brilliant geniuses, right? And you have such acute, incredible, razor-sharp awareness of everything that you end up feeling like you're insane. Sound familiar? <laughs> so everywhere you thought you were the insane one because you were so freaking aware of all of that and nobody acknowledged it. So you thought, oh, my God, I must be the one that's like out of sorts here because everybody else looks like they're having an OK time. <laughs> Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What would it take for you to be and remember all of these talents and abilities so fully that you could actually employ them to work for you? You could actually engage them in the quantum entanglements to facilitate a life and a living that is magical. Do you guys remember magic actually showing up and being what actually was just like drinking water in some other galaxy, some other lifetime, some other planet? Do you guys have any kind of a remembrance of that? Would you be willing to remember it? 
Would you be willing to know it? Yes. Not cognitive, it's just this twisted. It's almost like taking a, it's like going down the rabbit hole or one of those wormholes where energetically you just kind of twist and go, whoa, when you come out the other side. So would you be willing to know everything you've known through all time, space, dimensions, and realities and begin to use all of it to work for you here on this planet? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Would you be willing to stand up for you as a being and say, you know what? Thank you so much, reality. You've been awesome. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me in my box. I, you know, appreciate it. I'm totally grateful for you. Not really, but no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally grateful for you. And I, you're not required any longer. Ciao. <laughs> I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so everything that you're doing to just mm, buy into the life program that you were given here. Wow, that definitely has an energy to it, doesn't it? Who? So what physical actualization of the terminal and incurable disease for your investment? in the life program you were issued. Are you making more real, right, and true than the being you know is you? Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Lorica, is that a contract? A contract. Yeah. How many oaths, vows, commitments, communities, fealties do you have to uphold, and contracts do you have, to uphold the walls and separations of reality instead of embody the fullness of you? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Let's run that again. How many oaths, vows, commitments, communities, and fealties have actually been installed or implanted into your physical body or subtle bodies to guarantee and ensure that you maintain reality and never move beyond it? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. You know, it's really weird because from the space of infinite being or the being of everything, here we are creating an identity with one strand of one vibration to create some sort of judgment or conclusion that we identify with is true. Now, if you look at from the space of everythingness, how does that even make any sense? Why would anyone actually ever do that? Because as everything, you have every strand of all those vibrations and everything else. So for what reason would you ever go to fit in to any of that when you could have that times a godzillion all at the same time? Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, everything that brings up, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what physical actualization for the terminal and incurable disease for your belief in, oh, God, mm -hmm. the creation of you mm -hmm. Wow. For all eternity, it's all our time. Yeah, your belief in the creation of you as your life program. Are you holding on to with so much solidity, you're keeping you from everything? 
everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, if you look at all those points of view that you've been using to lock you into your identity versus being this everything, wow. Were you actually the creator of all those things, or was that actually an installed system? Because what I see, because, you know, I'm always looking at how to get people out of reality into them as a being so that they can embody everything, so they can have anything. Mm -hmm. And what I looked at was, have you guys actually been thinking that all your identity is something that you created? So if you created it, you want to hold on to it. Right? You're like, well, you know, if this is my mom. This is how she treated me. This is how I'm wrong. This is, you know, and then these are all my life experiences from all my lifetimes about all this stuff that occurred and blah, 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 right? Except what if all you've been doing is maintaining all of that? What if you actually weren't the source and the creator of the actual life program that's been separating you from everything? So everything that you thought you created that you've been holding on to through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, that was just an installment, would you be willing to destroy and create everywhere you bought into that? Right, wrong, yeah. good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And will you now set you and your body free? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And the tough part, too, is that this reality has such a tricky way of making you feel very wrong for being different, right? So you feel wrong for being here, first off. <laughs> You're like, I'm so different, they call me wrong. Wrong is identified with this particular vibration, so not only does this match, but it matches. Because it matches the life program that I was issued, and now that wrongness reflected onto it from the world around me is exactly that. Okay, then you feel so wrong that you're like, please, God Almighty, could I be right about something? And then you make yourself right for everything that's wrong with you. Thereby solidifying that life program totally. Instead of going, polarity, never mind, baby. Who cares? I mean, are you happier when you're polarized? Or when you're enjoying <laughs> you as a being? Are you happier when you're doing a positive or negative charge? Or when you're swimming in the ocean? Or when you're feeling the breeze? Or when you're looking up at the sky? Or when you're petting your doggy? Or being with your children and looking in their beautiful eyes and receiving their being? I mean, where are you being you? In reality or beyond reality? So would you now acknowledge that beyond reality is you? In reality, I'm sorry, it just doesn't feel like you. Ah, <laughs> I wonder why it doesn't feel like you. Oh, maybe because it's not you. Oh, <laughs> and what if we could laugh all our way, our entire way to freedom? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. <laughs> did, did we buy that as a replacement for infinite creation? As far as uh, that we created the life program yes. as a replacement yes. for infinite. So with this contract, if we bought this as real and true, and if we bought it as our own infinite creation, and then we discovered that it's no longer working for us, would we not then go to the wrongness of us around it? But is the lie, in fact, not the contract, but the fact that we actually bought that we created it? Because if we can uncreate it, then we would be free to create everything in our universe as our reality and negate the contract entirely. Uh, the only tough part also is you've been trained by this reality that you need to get rid of stuff in order to be free from it. Hmm. Which is kind of an interesting thing, right? So instead of embracing it fully and dissolving where you've aligned with the polarity, you're like, what do I have to destroy in order to let this go? What if it was more like, what can I embrace fully mm. to watch the being of consciousness that I be 
Look at all of this through the eyes of consciousness and watch it squeal away. Yeah. So everything you've been trying to get rid of in order to be you, all the contracts, all the oaths, vows, and commitments, when what if what was required was actually embracing all of it fully? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, with the clearing statement, what we're doing is we're letting go of the misidentification that you've done with it. So what's interesting is, are we actually destroying something? Or are we actually letting go of the lie? Mm. Mm. And are we uncreating something? Are we just basically uncreating the lie? So what if also you could look at it through the eyes of truth and just love it? And actually be with it so fully, have gratitude for it so fully, and embrace it so fully that all the positive and negative charges just go... Mm. Shall I do that again? Now, what we've tried to do in this reality, too, is let me cut off my awareness to it. Yeah, that didn't work, did it? (laughs) I have a charge here. I know. I don't want to be aware of it. So everything that that brings up times a godzillion, everywhere you've been trying to cut off your awareness to the positive and negative charges, instead of embrace them so fully that they cease to affect you at all, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. How could oneness be affected by a positive or negative charge? Mm. How could oneness be affected by any energy? Okay, you as an infinite being, are you certain energies or all energies? Mm. So how could you be affected by you? <laughs> and if you're everything, how could you be affected by anything? <laughs> so everything that brings up times a godzillion, all the effect world that you put into place, it's not actually real. <laughs> Would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And the other tough part about reality is it's told us if you resist something, that's a way to not become it. And all, every judgment is basically a resistance of what you're not, not the embodiment of everything you are. What if every judgment is a resistance of what you're not, not the embodiment of everything that you are? What if resistance actually fuels judgment? Mm. So you guys think, let me resist, like, I'm not a mean person. You know, let me create this resistance. Except by saying, I'm not a mean person, you end up creating the charge that has you acting out that polarity, doing mean things, and then judging yourself even further for it. So what if resisting anything was never a way out of anything? So all of the resistance that you've put in place that's holding in all of those limited belief patterns that's keeping you from the embodiment of everything, would you be willing to destroy and create all, everything that brings up? Mm-hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. If everything just is everything, and is everything part of God and the God source? I mean, look at it. Is every energy all part of that, the oneness and consciousness and all th- of all things and everything? So tell me again how any part of that could ever be judgeable. What if mean was not judgeable? Now, if you look at biblical stuff, like, you know, they say that Jesus rose again in however many days or whatever, was that actually mean to everybody's realities who didn't believe that could exist? Maybe from their point of view. 
So what if all judgment was, was just someone's point of view? And basically someone's identification of what they're trying not to be, which is actually instituting what they are. <laughs> Holy down the rabbit hole. Everything that brings up, would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now one more step, because this will really take you guys into a whole nother atmosphere. If you are all alone on this planet, and no one else existed, there was not another human on this planet, would you ever say something and then judge it? Would you ever think, oh my God, I said the wrong thing? <laughs> okay, so if that's the case, <laughs> what if judgment is always an outside source? What if it always comes from the outside, never from within? Because if you wouldn't judge you if you were the only person on this planet, what if you don't judge you? What if other people, from their points of view, go to judgment of you based on what they've resisted and what they're trying not to be, which somewhere in their universe they believe that they are it and it's judgeable? Literally, what if judgment has always been a projection from somebody else's world? What if you have no judgment of you? So everything that doesn't allow you to be, know, perceive, and receive that through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, and find the total peace and space in that. I mean, really, just do you allow yourself to open up to, OMG, I've never judged me. Wow. If I was the only one on this planet, I wouldn't judge me. Therefore... I don't judge me. Therefore, judgment is always coming from somewhere else. Therefore, who cares? Never mind. I don't judge me. If you'd like to, go for it. <laughs> Your point of view about me doesn't have anything to do with me. Everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive that fully mm -hmm. so you can move so far beyond reality so that you can embody the being that you truly came here to be, would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So it has you duped in a few different areas. Okay, mm -hmm. we talked about the resistance and how you're trying to not be things as if that was the way to not be them. When really, are you certain things, are you everything? Are you certain things or are you everything? Everything. So if you're everything, how could you not be certain things? It doesn't make any sense. You're everything, you're every vibration, you're mm. infinite choice, you're infinite possibilities. Any questions? <laughs> right? So in the having of that, okay, so the, the way that you've been duped is, well, everything this is bringing up that's just boggling your minds and everywhere you're feeling like you're getting lost, will you destroy and create that? Mm -hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, man. What if this is the energy your cognitive mind uses and this reality mm. uses to keep you from knowing what it is we're talking about? Yeah. So would you be willing to see beyond this into you as a being and what mm. you really know? Mm. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So we've got that this reality has taught you to resist things to not become them when really you're everything. So that whole story is kind of over, right? Mm. <laughs> Okay, the other thing is, as you dissolve these pretenses, the positive and negative charges that really weren't you, a lot of the times you may have to go through the pain that you've been in by having that thing in place. Mm -hmm. So the other thing <clears throat> that I see keeping people more in reality is they think, oh my God, I don't want to go there, it's too painful. When just beyond anything of that discomfort, what if that was something that was greater than anything you could even imagined or planned? Mm -hmm. Now, what I look at, too, is what would it take for us to laugh hysterically our entire journey to the infinite bliss, joy, and ecstasy that we are? Screw this going through the pain of heavy vibrations and the throwing up and the whatever else your body goes through and all the density detox and all this stuff. You know what? I live in a land of infinite possibilities. Body, how about we don't do that? 
How about we laugh hysterically? How about we just get all crazy blissful and stuff and watch stuff dissipate? Do I really need to go through the pain and the suffering and the sadness and the grief and the trauma? Or can I just enjoy myself all the way there? How about I just play the whole way there? How about I dance on the beach and leave reality behind? Yes. How about I go swimming in the ocean? How about I go have sex and just enjoy and be and enjoy and be and enjoy and be, embracing everything completely and fully, dissolving every polarity and laughing the entire way. So everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, everywhere you think it has to be hard, painful, or sad, will you destroy and uncradle that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, fox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. There you go. <sighs> And, you know, the other thing is, if something does come up, it may be your body just letting it go. So if you're willing to open up, let it go, it may be gone within 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Mm. If you create a story around it, you may be stuck with it for a few days <laughs> or weeks or years, right? So if you just allow the polarity, when you feel like, quote unquote, crying or going into some grief, if you just allow it to come up and go, hey, and how about we try on, what, how, what's amusing about this? that I could be with this, that would allow this to dissolve totally. Oh my God, I am so funny. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at me dissolving an illusion that was never true and I'm bawling my eyes out as if I'm losing something. This is hilarious, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> When I'm not actually <laughs> losing anything. Are you kidding me? Oh, I feel like I'm dying when really I'm just beginning to live. Wow, have I been trained backwards. That is super funny. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what's the life program actually a life sentence? Yeah, that's definitely the same energy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the energy of judgment, hey? Yeah. And, you know, sort of identifying you with it. So what if right now you looked at your entire system and all the strings that were attached to all that judgment, all that parts of reality yeah. where it was like catching you yeah. and just went, how about I just walk away from it? How about I just kind of, not even having to effort li effortfully cut the cords, but just go, whoo, as if they just kind of got caught in the wind and just, yes. why not let go, right? Yeah. I mean, really, one of the things whenever I felt like I got stuck in any particular thing was, how has this other stuff really worked for me? Do I really want to hold on to it? Like, like any of the feelings of, I don't, I don't think I want to go any further. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. If you look at the past and where I've been, it's been great. And mm. do I know that something greater is possible for me? Yes. Mm. Then I would hold on to this based on what? Never mind. I'm going anyway. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what unknown. I'm putting a blindfold on even and just running in that direction. <laughs> so everything that doesn't allow you to put on your blindfolds and run in the direction of you... Would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, the other part where you get so tripped up, you guys, is you're living in a world of judgment where people do it all the time. So that vibration is always present. Does that mean you have to identify with it? No. So everywhere you just keep trying to uh, fix your awareness... How many of you guys keep trying to fix your awareness or make your awareness go away? Because then if you did, you'd be free. Except what if the freedom actually occurs by the total acknowledgement that you aren't judgment, you don't identify with judgment, and you're willing to be every vibration and every judgment with no judgment of it? Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, beyond. It's like, what if judgment wasn't your only choice? What if it was just one of your choices? And what if judgment wasn't you? It was just something that you could take on if you wanted to, and it was part of you. But why would you spend your time in that vibration? There's some real yummy ones that are going on all around you at all times called infinite presence. 
called the orgasmic energy of living of every molecule on this entire planet, that you could be, and you could have running through every pore of your body and being. You mean you could be exploding with total bliss, joy, and ecstasy, but you're looking at one strand of a positive and negative charge trying to make that real for you. It's a bit funny, isn't it now? <laughs> I like it. We're getting into the comedy part of the audio. So, what if you seriously began, seriously, <laughs> what if you began looking at the joke of this reality and stopped taking it seriously? Oh my God, my judgment of me has been one of the funniest comedies I have ever, ever even laid my eyes on. Oh my goodness. I mean, one of the days I was looking at how I thought I wasn't good enough. And then when I really started looking at it, I'm like, actually, what I've received more of is the judgment of me being too much. So how does those work? <laughs> wow. What if you looked at every part of everything you still think is judgeable about you and just went, oh my God, this is funny. This is like the comedy I haven't been getting. Oh boy, wow. I thought I was wrong. <laughs> For what? Not being able to fit into a small enough box because I'm too magnificent? <laughs> Dude. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? Sorry, oh, yeah. but I don't fit in here. And you guys are welcome to do any part of reality that you want to do with me. Uh, go for it. I don't fit in. I, I cannot fit inside one judgment. I'm everything. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Whoops. <laughs> you guys are big old elephants and you've been hanging out at a mouse party. <laughs> you can't fit in at mouse parties, okay? You've been stepping on everybody's realities. <laughs> you just go to like shake your tail because you just want to get your groove on. <laughs> and all of a sudden your tail whacks somebody's home. They explode into oneness, and then they tell you you're the wrong one. <laughs> and you're like, I'm an elephant, man. I'm dancing at a mouse party. What's an elephant to do? I didn't mean to step on you. I'm an elephant, man. And then you really try to get your groove on, and then you really mess stuff up, right? And then everybody judges you, and you're like, but I'm an elephant, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, and that's not meant to be put into a superior context, because that would just be more of this reality. That's just meant for you to go, hey, you know what, you're quite different. And what if that was a greatness, not a wrongness? What if it always has been a greatness, not a wrongness? And what if you guys are, have been the leaders? Like, our parents go, oh, everything you did was wrong or whatever. But yet, what if everything that you chose and did was actually exactly correct? Really? Like, what if everywhere that they made you wrong... What if you weren't wrong? What if you did a myriad of miracles and magics and mysteries and amazingness and magnificence to get them where they are now? What if you guys are freaking magicians for your childhood? Where you were like magnificent beyond your wildest imagination. You were like secret agent number 686. <laughs> and you were like, you were totally doing all this crazy stuff at all times. And somehow you got the most insane people on the planet to expand. <laughs> <laughs> and what if that applied to every part of your life? Your friends, your family members, this reality, this planet? What if you guys have been the secret agents of all secret agents? And, and it's almost like this. You went, okay, I'll be this limitation right here. I'll be this limitation right here. But secretly, you knew something else was different. Because you also implanted the key to unlock it right when the time was right. So what if the time is right? 
<laughs> so all the facets of reality that you've been taking on in order to set this planet free, will you now set you free? Yes. Rye, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. So what talents, abilities, and capacities would you now allow yourself to bring into being that would allow you to vibrate, that would allow you to know, that would allow you to be fully, that would allow you to receive the fullness and overflowing capacity for being change in every facet that you truly be. Everything that doesn't allow that, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, mm-hmm. all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's amazing, too, is we know time's not real, right? Mm-hmm. So you're actually looking at your entire existence through all time, space, dimensions, and realities from this different perspective mm-hmm. of you actually being that godlike presence, that source of all things, that oneness and consciousness of all things, and all that infinite vibration, and absolutely there being nothing judgeable about you from your awareness of you. What if that creates you as the conscious observer of this planet that creates a whole different galaxy and universe for everyone and everything. Even in this entire solar system. It's a little tough to feel bad about you when you've changed the solar system. So everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. Oh, I just saw something big. Mm. So if you look at the fifth element where she goes to sing and she changes everyone's everything, okay, how much have you guys been mimicking part of the vibration of this reality while being something that pe- people weren't even willing to receive <coughs> to actually have them first receive you and then bring them way over here. Mm -hmm. And how many of you have judged yourself for the vibrations you went into over here because you went, Mm. this isn't my home vibration, when really this was the candy that was required to get them to go, oh, I remember this or I know about this, and then while you be all this, to actually unravel all that. So every vibration that you've judged yourself for being, that was everything that was required, Wouldn't you be willing to destroy (laughs) and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. Now, we talked about consciousness unfolding into a greater expression of itself, right? Every molecule, what if every molecule in this entire planet is constantly expanding already? So what makes you think you've ever done anything against consciousness? What makes you think you've chosen anything that has created any kind of contraction in anyone's world? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. What if you've just always been everything that was required? Really? What if you've always been everything that was required to get somebody out of something? Some other aspect of you out of the, you know, poopy pants they were in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll be the vibration of poopy pants. I'll pretend while I be all this other vibration so I can shift everything else that I know is going on here so that you can move into the fullness of you at some point. And if time doesn't exist, what if everybody in your life has already received everything you came here to to deliver? Does that give you some more peace too? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. So what lightness of being are you already being? That if you allowed yourself to actually 
embody and bathe in the awareness of it <laughs> would allow you to recklessly abandon reality. <laughs> You wouldn't even honk by it as you drove by on your scooter. <laughs> You'd be like, ciao. <laughs> Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, you guys, this doesn't mean that you won't have a life, that you won't have children, that you won't have money and all this stuff. What ends up occurring is as you're willing to be all this energy, you see reality from an overview position instead of from inside the labyrinth. From inside the labyrinth, it's really tough because the walls are like boulders. From outside the labyrinth, the walls don't exist, so <laughs> muting and changing illusion takes no effort. When you believe the illusion is true, you're attempting to move the illusion from inside the illusion that you think is real, so it's heavy, mm. and it's a big effort. Mm. So everything that, and this is why we attempt, you know, keep attempting to get you out of this position of believing that all this stuff is true and putting energy into it, because as you move into this fullness of being, my friends, oh, what else is possible? How easy would be having money if you got to the observer position of how reality works? Oh my goodness, talk about ease, joy, and glory, right? You're like, oh, this is funny. They think paper has some kind of value and significance on it. <laughs> That's very cute, okay. Well, it's kind of fun to have a nice reality at the same time as I embody everything. So having tons of money, sure, works for me. What are the infinite ways that I can create it from an overview position? Oh, pfft, universe, you're so, thank you for letting me know. You mean this currency is going to increase 40% in the next six months? You are so my man. <laughs> cool, well, well, let's get some of that. What else, Uni? So you begin seeing something from such a different space that you cannot deny <laughs> that everything's just really easy and fun and joyful and light. So everything that doesn't allow you to move into the observer position of your life and your living and start overviewing reality and stop identifying with reality so that you can actually move the walls of illusion by whispering and by blowing at them instead of by having to labor intensively in the wrong direction, because that's how this reality trains you. Would you be willing to destroy and cradle that? Mm -hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So we just received a comment that I might be working myself out of a job. Thank goodness, right? What if the undoing of reality was just the very beginning of the celebration that we all came here to have on planet Earth? What if letting go of everything that was ever wrong or right about anything was just the tip of the iceberg? And hopefully that's what I'm doing, is working myself out of a job. Because for me, it's like, I have this awareness and knowing that we all came here to actually be very different than who we've chosen to be in the past or what we've been pretending that we were, that we actually weren't. So being able to ask you questions and facilitate you guys into absolutely knowing that there is nothing wrong with you and that you are actually free and that all of reality has just been an illusion and none of it has actually been real, right, or true is very much just the beginning of us embodying and embarking on the celebration of being that we came here to have the unfolding of even greater talents and abilities and capacities. The wow, what is really going on here? The magics and the mysteries of everything we could have and be on planet Earth. Just imagine, what if, every, what if everyone on this entire planet woke up one day 
and literally forgot that judgment ever existed. They forgot that positive and negative charges ever existed. Now let me ask you this. At some point, will that occur? Amazing, right? This is where it gets fun. <laughs>